I recently finished this duffel bag, and if you watched my uh, four-part video series on the construction of the bag, you might have noticed that in the first part I said I was going to replace the zipper tab with a pull cord, uh, and then I didn't because I forgot. But I happen to have enough time to do this before I donate this bag. So I'll show you how to remove this zipper tab and replace it with cordage, and I'm going to wrap it with heat shrink tubing to give it uh, a better, neater appearance. First thing to do is to remove this tab, and you're committed once you do this. Uh, I've already sewn the zipper in. It might be smart if you're you know, building something from scratch and you think you might want to try this modification but you're not sure, you could always do this stage to the zipper head before you even put it on the zipper if you're, if you're starting with like a continuous zipper coil. Uh, you could cut this off, put on your cordage. If you find you don't like it, just grab another zipper head and put it on. If I mess this up now, the only way to repair it or to put a new zipper head in is to take a lot of the bag apart. So here goes. Just regular diagonal cutters or dikes. I originally intended to use this zingit line, uh, but because the bag looks so nice in all black and gray, uh, even though I kind of like the high visibility of the yellow, uh, I think just to keep it looking consistent, I'm going to use black uh, 550 paracord. With the zipper that I have on the bag now, getting 550 cord through the available space would be pretty challenging to do. With 550 paracord, you can gut it, removing the inner strands, and then you're left with the shell that's still way more than strong enough to be a zipper bowl, and you can compress it flat and get it to fit through the space. To wrap the cord, I'm going to use this one quarter inch heat shrink tube. Uh, this is the stuff that you would use for like automotive wiring to protect wire ends. You can skip the step of adding the heat shrink tubing if you want. You can just tie a knot into your uh, paracord and you'll have a, a loop that you can grab onto. By installing the heat shrink tubing, it makes it more of a grab handle than a loop. Uh, these tend to get hung up on things. I just kind of arbitrarily cut this to a length that I think will work as a grab handle. And actually that's probably a little long, so I'll take a little bit off. And that looks good to me. The reason this stuff is called heat shrink tubing is when you heat it up, it shrinks. I'm going to use a cheap heat gun to do this. You can do it with a, like a cigarette lighter, but I've found that the heat gun seems to do a better job. But if you don't have one, don't run out and buy one just to do this. Now if you know uh, some fancy paracord knots, you could do something like a Turk's head or some kind of stopper knot on the top of this. Uh, I've 
played around a little bit with paracord, but not enough to know a good knot off the top of my head for this, and I don't have time to go learn one, so I'm just gonna do a double overhand knot, if that's even what this is called. And then I'll just trim off the ends and singe them so that the paracord melts and doesn't fray. So there you have it. It's easy to grab. I think it looks cool. It's a nice little custom touch that's pretty easy to add. You can do this to you know, any existing uh, bags or cases that you have with zippers. It's also nice and quiet now instead of having the jingling of the zipper. So if you're using something uh, that you want to have more of a, a tactical application, this is an easy modification to make.